Following the last episode where I talked through the basics of the on-balance volume indicator, this time I turn my attention to using it on actual price charts and explain the rationale for how you can get maximum value from this volume-based indicator. Stay tuned. The way in which some volume-based indicators are used is subtly different from how indicators based on price action are used, and the on-balance volume indicator is no exception. I've heard traders say that these indicators don't have much value because they simply mimic what the price action is doing anyway. But those traders, I think, are missing the point. The value from these types of indicators comes from those occasions when the indicator doesn't agree with the price action. And that provides vital clues about what will happen next. So let's take a look. If you didn't watch the previous episode where I covered the basics of OBV and how the calculations performed, then you might want to watch that episode also. We also considered what it is that the OBV indicator actually tells us. What information does it give us about the markets? And really this is based on the whole rationale for OBV, which can be summed up as follows. The strength of the rises and falls in the OBV indicator are more meaningful than the strength of the rises and the falls in the price action alone. And this is because very often trends in price action can appear to be strong when in actual fact they're based on extremely low volume and are therefore relatively weak. And the discrepancy between OBV and the price action gives vital clues about what might happen next. So let's look at some examples. The first we'll use Euro Dollar. So I've blacked out the right hand side of the chart so that we can reveal that to show what happens next in the price action as we make our assessments of the OBV indicator. So I want to focus on the most recently available price action, which is this short uptrend. Now, as we can see here, if we draw lines across the price action and the OBV indicator, they're both rising. And when there's agreement, this tells us that this is a reasonable uptrend based on reasonable volume. But take a look at what happens next. Here, the price action continues upwards. However, that's not the case for OBV. This is now going downwards. And what this tells us is that the uptrend is based on very low upwards volume. We effectively have a divergence between the two. Now, when this happens, this is one of the key signals that the OBV indicator provides that tells us that this trend is weakening significantly. And what we've learned from previous episodes is that when that happens, we're about to experience either a reversal or the emergence of a trading range. And if we take a look at what happens next, that's exactly what we see. So let's now move on to our second example. This time we'll use the FTSE 100 stock index. So let's use exactly the same principles. Let's look at the most recent price action, and as we can see here, the OBV is in complete agreement with the price action. And that tells us that this trend has a reasonable amount of volume, and therefore a reasonable amount of strength. And so based on this, what we would expect is to see a continuation of the trend in this direction. And by revealing the next part of the chart, that's exactly what we see. However, let's re-perform our analysis using OBV. Now this time, although the price continues with the trend with approximately the same level of strength, that isn't the case for OBV. Here, this has weakened significantly. And so this tells a vital story about what's actually happening with this trend. 
Although the price action would have us believe this is just as strong as the first part of the trend, OBV tells us that that is not the case. This is a trend that is weakening significantly. So we can class this also as a divergence. And what do we know is more likely to happen when we see a weakening of a trend? Well, we should be expecting a reversal. And so again, by revealing the next part of the price action, we can see that's exactly what occurs. So it's worth mentioning at this point that yes, the OBV indicator does mimic price action quite closely. So when the price action goes up, the OBV usually goes up. When it goes down, the OBV usually goes down. And when that's happening, the indicator isn't really telling us anything of any value. But it's when we get these divergences, these differences between the price action and the OBV, that this indicator comes into its own. So hopefully you're beginning to see the value of this type of indicator. But there are others. One of those is called the accumulation distribution indicator, and another is called the money flow index. And I'm going to cover both of these in future episodes. Now, the first of these will be in the next episode, so be sure to tune in for that. And if you are not a subscriber to the channel already, then please do subscribe and you'll be notified when that episode is available. But now, until next time, trade wise, trade safe.